Track 34. The Seekers, based on the story by Valerie Bloom. Long ago, a wicked tribe called the Diagons captured the peaceful kingdom of Raban. Only one thing could save the kingdom and the people of Raban. Three magic stones that were hidden in a secret place. The people of Raban wanted to be free. But first, someone had to find the magic stones. So, every year, the guardians of the kingdom chose a special boy or girl to go on a journey to find the stones. Before the guardians chose the special boy or girl, they gave them a test. They wanted a boy or girl who was brave, strong and intelligent. But the journey was very difficult and dangerous. So far, no one had finished the journey and no one had found the stones. Then one day, a young boy called Kihan came to do the test. He was a little boy with a big heart. He wanted to discover the secret place, find the stones and save the kingdom. To his surprise, Kihan passed the test. The guardian said that he could take two friends with him on the journey. He chose his good friend Bariel and another boy, Huraf, to go with him. The guardians gave each child a sword. The swords had magic powers to protect the children on their difficult and dangerous journey. Now, our three heroes are at the beginning of their journey in the wild countryside of Raban. In front of them are two paths. On the left, there is a path through thick forest down to the valley. On the right, there is a narrow mountain track. Good afternoon, Third Standard. How are you all? We are looking at a story called The Seekers. Okay, page 86 of your textbook. Now, um, this kingdom is uh, has been captured by the evil tribe, Diagons. Okay, and uh, to save the kingdom, to free the kingdom, they have to find three magic stones. Okay. Uh, it is in a secret place, the magic stones. So every year, uh, a child is uh, put through a test. The test is put through a test. It is a duty, duty, responsibility. Okay? So uh, uh, journey, that journey to find the stones is very difficult. So they need a person who is brave. Brave Barna Daidi Lala strong. Strong Barna Varum muscles strong Allah. Even mind has to be strong. Uh, and intelligent. Buddhi. Okay. So uh test chi that uh kehan barna to putti one no test chi and he passed. Okay, he 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 succeeded. He was a little boy with a big heart. Big heart parna vili heart and means he was a, a very nice boy he was uh, very generous adana big heart and okay uh, and then he he chose two of his friends Baril and hora uh, to go with him and the guardians guardians parna uh, kingdom arajitne samrakshikina alkar okay Avirana, uh, uh, they are called the guardians. Okay, so the guardians gave them each a magic sword. Bala. And now they are going on their journey. A journey uh, Randa On the left, there is a path through thick forest down to the valley. On the right, there is a narrow mountain track. Okay. Now, before you listen to the next uh, soundtrack. I want you to uh, look at these pictures, okay, and try to uh, guess. In the Adiava, in the Pinyava, you're trying to guess the story, okay. So look at the pictures properly and then guess, and then, of course, I will play the soundtrack. You will understand the story better. Now, what happened to the kingdom of Raban? 
it was captured by the diagons. Okay, so you just mark it in your textbook itself. Yeah. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just mark it in your textbook. They were captured. Now here you will find class words past simple. Can you see that? Captured. Um, wanted. Uh, chose. Choose in the past and a chose. Uh, I hope you can underline all these words in your textbook itself. Gave. Give in the past and a gave. Again, wanted. No, uh, finished, finished in the past, and a finished. Find in the past, simple, and a found. Okay, so just mark these answers. And um, what happened to the kingdom of Ravan? You just underline the answers in the textbook itself. What was special about the stones? There were three magic stones which could save the kingdom of Ravan. Who do you think the guardians were? They were mad. I think they were magical people. If you think differently, there is no right and wrong answer. Okay, we are guessing. What did the guardians do every day, every year? They chose, they gave a test, uh, chose a boy and a girl and gave them a test to see if they would succeed. Who did Kehan choose to help him? Burial and Horaf. Sorry, Burial and Horaf. Okay, now, uh, you guess the pictures, the next part of the story, and I will play the track. Now, before I play the track, a ravine, a ravine, Parnyala, Rand uh, Mountains in the Adel, the valley, which is uh, which is very narrow. Okay, Adhim Stalulia, Rand the Adel. That is called a ravine. Uh, a sword, wala, a flash of light. Can you see that? Lightning, a flash of light. The beasts, the monsters. Where are they? Yeah. Okay. So now just listen to the track. Track 35. Suddenly, the children heard a terrible sound. The sound was like the scream of a human and the howl of a crazy dog. I knew they would find us in the valley, Araf said quietly. Kehan looked around quickly. He was very frightened. There was nowhere to hide. Here they come, Bariel shouted. The three friends crouched down. Three beasts appeared in front of them. They had heads like dogs, tongues like snakes, and bodies like cats. But their bodies were covered in green scales, like fish. They had large feet with huge claws. Their eyes burned like fire. What are they? whispered Bariel. They are called mistrals, Gahan said. The beasts crouched down, ready to attack. The children were terrified. Suddenly, Kehan knew what to do. Put the swords together, he shouted, as the animals leapt. The children fell down hard on the rocky valley path. They were very close to the edge of the ravine. As they fell, Bariel's sword clashed with Kehan's. There was a flash of light, and the mistrals backed away. The three children jumped up. The swords, Kehan shouted, bring them together! The swords blazed as they clashed together, snarling the mistrals backed away. We must lead them to the ravine, Kahan said. Walk slowly towards them. Then, when I give the signal, turn and run. Stop at the edge of the ravine and jump. He looked at the faces of his friends. They looked confused and worried. Trust me. Kahan said. The friends moved towards the terrible beasts. They could feel the hot breath of the mistrals on their faces. 
Kahan shouted. Run! They ran quickly towards the ravine. Then, as they came to the edge, Kahan shouted, Jump! The swords lifted them high into the air. Burial gasped. We're flying! Okay. So that's the story. Uh, did you, were you able to guess the, uh, with the picture, with the help of the pictures, were you able to guess the story? Well, so the monsters were trying to attack uh, Kehan and uh, when their swords accidentally clashed, there's a flash of lightning. They, they realized that that light scared the monster, the beast or mistrals okay and uh, so they brought it together and that scared them away then kehan says come let's go close to them and then run towards the ravine okay and they were a bit uh, the friends are worried why is he talking like this but what happens, the swords are magical swords and they, when they jump up in the sky, in the air, it makes them fly. <sighs> Alright, so this is the story. I would like you to mark all the uh, past simple words in them. Uh, and then... Once you come back uh, after your holiday, we will talk more about this story. Okay, so uh, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a very happy new year to you all. Enjoy yourself, and I'll see you in 2022. All right, that's standard. Okay, that's it for today. Have a lovely day, enjoy yourself, and Jai Hind.